In this video, we'll be taking a look at two college football games happening on November 10, 2022, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, four picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these two college football games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Georgia Southern vs. Louisiana The Georgia Southern Eagles will be on the road as they head to Cajun Field on Thursday to take on the Louisiana Rajan Cajuns in a Sun Belt Conference matchup. The Eagles are coming off of a 38-31 home loss against the South Alabama Jaguars while the Rajan Cajuns are on a two-game losing streak after a 23-17 home loss to the Troy Trojans. Georgia Southern comes into this game with a 5-4 record overall, and they have gone 6-3 against the spread. In the last game against South Alabama, the defense gave up 38 points and that led to a 7-point defeat. Kyle Vantries completed 26 of his 45 passes for 278 yards, two touchdowns, and one interception. Georgia Southern is averaging 36 points, while their defense is giving up 31 points per game. In this game, the Eagles are going to need to have a big game from Vantrese. On the other side of this matchup is Louisiana, who sits with a 4-5 record, and they have gone 5-4 against the spread. In the last game against Troy, Louisiana scored 17 points, and that led to the 6-point defeat. Louisiana was outscored 16-0 in the fourth quarter, and that led to the defeat. Ben Wooldridge completed 13 of his 29 passes for 100 12 yards, zero touchdowns, and zero interceptions. Louisiana is averaging 26 points, while their defense is giving up 22 points per game. Chris Smith rushed 18 times for 97 yards. In this game, Louisiana is going to need the offense to be better in this game. Georgia Southern is 9-3 against the spread in their last 12 games. Louisiana is 5-1 against the spread in their last 6 home games. The over is 13-6 in Georgia Southern's last 19 games in November. The underdog is 4-1 against the spread in the last five meetings played between the two teams. The road team is 4-1 against the spread in the last five meetings played between the two teams. Both these teams had bad fourth quarters that cost them victories in their last appearances. The Cajuns specifically posted just 112 pass yards in their loss to the Trojans, along with a tepid 4.3 yards per play. All was going well until the 16-0 final quarter though. As for Georgia Southern, they surrendered 514 yards and 29 first downs in their latest loss, despite South Alabama's three turnovers and 13 penalties. This next matchup should be a pretty tight one regardless, so the Louisiana Rajan Cajuns to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The over has cashed in three of the last four Georgia Southern games, and at least 64 combined points were scored in four of their last five contests. Lausiana is a more defensive-focused team, but I see them exceeding their scoring average of 26 points per game and also allowing more than their average of 22 points per game in this contest. The over is also 4-1 in the last five games against FBS teams that Luisana has played when the total was set at 51 or higher. I simply can't take an under with a total below 60 in a Georgia Southern game. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Tulsa vs. Memphis This Thursday, the Tulsa Golden Hurricane will travel to Memphis to take on the Memphis Tigers. Kickoff will be inside Simmons Bank Liberty Stadium. The last time these two teams matched up, the Golden Hurricane took down the Tigers, 35-29. Tulsa is coming into this one after dropping their second game in a row. Last week, they lost to Tulane, 27-13. The Golden Hurricane struggled on the defensive side of the field as they surrendered 482 yards of offense. They will have to be better against the run if they want to challenge Memphis on the road. The Memphis Tigers are entering this one after falling to the UCF Knights, 35-28. Memphis also struggled on the defensive side of the field as they had a difficult time stopping the run and the pass. They surrendered 427 yards as the Knights continued to march up and down the field. They will have to tighten up if they want to challenge the Golden Hurricane at home. The Tulsa Golden Hurricane have lost three of their last four road games. Davis Brin is completing 60.3% of his passes for 2,000 
1,090 yards, 17 touchdowns, and 7 interceptions. Keelan Stokes and Juan Carlos Santana have combined for 1,574 receiving yards and 10 touchdowns, while Malachi Jones has 29 receptions. The Tulsa Golden Hurricane ground game is averaging 139.7 yards per contest, and Deneric Prince leads the way with 438 yards and 3 touchdowns. Defensively, Tulsa is allowing 33 points and 403.6 yards per game. Bryson Powers leads the Tulsa Golden Hurricane with 80 tackles. Joseph Anderson has 3.5 sacks and Justin Wright has two interceptions. The Memphis Tigers have won three of their last five home games. Seth Hennigan is completing 65.1% of his passes for 2,520 yards, 16 touchdowns, and seven interceptions. Cadden Prescorn and Eddie Lewis have combined for 858 receiving yards and 10 touchdowns, while Joseph Skates has 16 receptions. The Memphis Tigers' ground game is averaging 136.4 yards per contest, and as Sam Martin leads the way with 300 yards and three touchdowns. Defensively, Memphis is allowing 32 points and 412 yards per game. Xavier Cullens leads the Memphis Tigers with 74 tackles. Cormonty Hamilton has 4.5 sacks and Quindell Johnson has three interceptions. Tulsa is 3-6 straight up and 2-6-1 to six to one against the spread. They are one of the worst teams in the American Conference but have a good shot at beating another bad American Conference team. Memphis is 4-5 straight up and 3-6 against the spread. They have lost their last four games straight against arguably the best teams in the conference. The line is predicated on quarterback Britt not playing. That means that the freshman quarterback will get the start for Tulsa. These two teams are similar in the stats department. They both play a lot of offense and almost no defense, as they are really poor at defense and throw the ball a ton. Both allow over 400 yards and 30 points per game and their offenses average over 400 yards and 30 points per game. Both of these teams have struggled in conference play and are sitting in the bottom third of the American Athletic Conference standings. Tulsa has lost two games in a row, while Memphis has lost four games in a row. Memphis has been close in their last four games, but has managed to lose all of them. Memphis has not figured out how to win a one-score game, which has led to their poor 4-5 record. Tulsa appears to be the better football team in this one, especially if their questionable quarterback ends up playing. So the Tulsa Golden Hurricane to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. The Tulsa defense is allowing 33 points per game while the offense is scoring an average of 30 points per game. Memphis has similar numbers with their defense giving up 32 points per game and their offense scoring 34 points per game. The over is 4-1 in the Golden Hurricanes' last five versus a team with a losing record. The over is 4-0 in the Tigers' last four games overall. This game will end up being a shootout, as I see both of these offenses scoring enough points to push the final score past the set total number. Tulsa is currently scoring 30 points per game and they are averaging the 51st most total yards. They can throw the ball all over the field and the Memphis secondary has continued to struggle this season. The Tigers are allowing 276.8 passing yards per game. This is the 119th most in the country. Regardless of who starts at quarterback for Tulsa, I still see them scoring many points. Now, the Tigers will also throw the ball all over the Tulsa secondary. They are averaging the 25th most passing yards per game and they have impressed me against better defenses over over the past few weeks. Both teams will be looking to get back into the win column. Both of these offenses can score the ball quickly and both defenses continue to give up points. Memphis is giving up the 110th most points per game and Tulsa is allowing the 118th most. Neither of them will shut down the opposing offense. This is a matchup between two of the worst offenses in the country. Expect fireworks. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.